connect as we are getting connected and your consciousness your intelligence and my intelligence are binding together for this common goal of helping you retrieve your power back gain back your confidence your self-love i want you to tune into the sound of my voice my my voice is very soothing so with every breath you take and every beat of your heart just allow my voice to blend with the natural rhythm of your body Think about it as a sunshine. You can get something very pleasant. And you let that soothing aspect come forth a little bit. This will happen gradually. I would like for you to imagine going back in time to a time in your life when you felt absolutely secure, absolutely comfortable, protected, safe, nurtured. This could be a memory in nature with other people. Whatever place you go to, I would like for you to connect all of the visual, kinesthetic, auditory, tactile, touch base, sensations. In other words, this movie in slow motion, which means that you can harness all the sensations. You know how often people say all good things come to an end, right? You have an experience and then you're like, oh my gosh, and now it's going to end. Or they have this negative anticipation. Oh, that dinner was wonderful and now I'm all alone again. So here in this space, we can prolong, we can extract and milk that energy. How do we do that? I want you to, while you are in that memory, scan your body really quick for me. And that memory is connected somewhere to the body. There is a somatic address for that experience. I want you to take your hand and point to where you feel it the strongest. First impression, right here, very good. And if you could tell me what color of colors are associated with this feeling, first impression. Green. Green, beautiful. And now I would like for you to take that green color and float it above your head. Like if it was a cloud, <laughs> right? And then with every breath you take and every beat of your heart, all I want you to do is watch this cloud grow and expand. And fill out this entire beautiful courtyard, make it as big as you want, from the sky to the ground, from one side of the place to another. Saturate your entire space as big as you want it to be with that green color connected to that memory. So it's like a blanket, you can create an isolating protective suit. And now once you know you've got it, I want you to take a nice deep breath and flow that green energy through the body. And what happens when we do that, tension begins to melt. And you can almost feel it instantaneously. It's like pouring hot water over ice cubes. It just dissolves. Let it drain for your feet into the ground. And enjoy this level of relaxation in the body that comes with letting go. And notice you've done it within two minutes yourself. And you can now compound the effect. So what we're going to do right now, I want you to anchor this feeling inside your body. Anchor is a simple mechanism. Like hanging a picture on the wall. You have a hook and you have a picture. And you have that picture and you always know it's there. It's the same with the feeling. Find a place, a somatic address for this feeling. You hook it, anchor it. You remember the color green. Maybe that color green reminds you of, of water somewhere in a lagoon or any other symbol that would be easy for you to remember. So you anchor it somewhere in the body and perhaps just like you're doing right now, you're pressing your thumb up against your hand. So whenever you do that, you visualize all your green and you back to that memory, you can access that feeling of safety. And now let's test it. I want you to try to turn this feeling off, try 
time to take it away. That is what happens instead. Still there? Very good. Often, the more people try to turn it off, the more strong they feel that, that sense of security and, and safety. And I would like to ask you, is there any other feeling right now, though, that you would like to feel? Right. Tell me, what is it that you would like to feel? Uh -huh. Just a sense of peace and serenity. Okay, very good. So, right now I would like for you to fly on the wings of time to a time in your life when you felt the most peace and serenity. You know when it was in your life, that time period, right? So think a memory, any memory that comes naturally easily fast for you. And I want you to really be in that memory. So every memory has different components, visual, kinesthetic, right? Temperature in a room, uh, if you were outdoors, uh, indoors, who was there with you. Slow down the movie, you have the remote control. So you feel that experience, you are in that experience, you're merging, fusing the energies. Tell me about that experience. My experience is being on a, on a beach, sitting on the beach with the waves coming in and just that peace, the sense of um, peacefulness. Mm -hmm. So you're on the beach, you are bare feet, right? Your feet yes. are in the sun, yeah. so you can obviously smell the air, it's like yeah. salty, there are all these minerals from, from the ocean that you can smell, there's probably a breeze, maybe palm trees, and there are all kinds of elements. You're on vacation, you're eating wonderful food, things are very leisurely, you're not forcing anything, right? You are in the flow. And now, with that feeling, that wonderful feeling of peace and serenity, again, it's connected somewhere to your physical somatic address. Point to where you feel it, first impression. Right here. Very good. And now what I want you to do, please, um, I want you to simply watch with every breath you take, every heart, every heart, as this feeling begins to move from and just like a wind, just like waves by the ocean, this feeling is going to move from its point of origin to another part in the body, and another part in the body, and another part in the body. And all I want you to do is follow this feeling. Just like you would want to follow your child, right? Danielle, when she was a little girl, and you would just accompany her, hold her hand, just like that. I want you to do it a few times, over and over again. And every time you do it, let that feeling go deeper into your bones, into the muscles, and allow all the emotions that are part of this experience, because as we reveal, we feel, right? And as we feel, we can do it. And you are absolutely safe and protected in your chart, and I'm here with you, and I'm holding your hand as you are following that feeling. And when you are saturated and satisfied, simply let me know, nod your head, and I'll tell you what to do next. Yeah? Okay. Take your time. If you need more time circulating this feeling, because it does feel good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It helps you connect with all the precious memories and aspects of your life that you cherish. And now what you did, you extrapolated that energy and you harnessed it, and now you're circulating it. Just using the power of your mind and all and let's anchor that feeling, okay? So remember, for the first feeling of safety, you had color green, and you're pressing this, this part of your hand with your thumb, right? Okay? So for the feeling of peace, you have the beach scene, and then you have the origin point right here, 
And now we want to find a place in the body where you can anchor that feeling. Maybe you want to anchor it here or maybe somewhere else. So I would like for you to tap your forehead, the same spot. So every time you do that, and you can do it anywhere you're in a classroom, in an elevator, you're driving a car. All you have to do is like be uninterrupted for a moment, perhaps close your eyes, have your feet on the, on the ground firmly, and you are in that scene. Perhaps you're with your daughter too. And you're able to activate that feeling. It only takes a moment. And then you circulate that feeling. So let's practice. Very good. And now we test it. So you tap your forehead, or I tap your forehead, and try to turn that feeling off, try to take it away. Notice what happens instead. What are you experiencing? Still here? Yeah. Very good. Are you enjoying this experience? Yeah. Very good. So now we can do some clearing, right? Yeah. Because obviously there are some other sensations in the body that are less pleasant and they remind you of things that are connected with feelings that are obviously intervening in, in the way you'd like to move forward with your life. So I want you to do a body scan for me and okay. to tell me what feeling, sensation, emotion you would like to clear? And just point to where you feel it. Where do you feel discomfort? Right here. Okay, very good. And on the scale of 0 to 10, what number would you connect to this feeling? First impression. 2. 2. Okay. What color is connected to this feeling? First impression. A yellow. Yellow. Okay, very good. I want you to take both of your hands. Pull this yellow energy out of your left abdomen. Just take both of your hands. Imagine you're scooping it yeah. out. Yeah. Just take yeah. both of your hands and pull it out yeah. physically. Is it coming? Yeah. Very good. Once you have it out, we're going to look at it. Yeah. Okay. Create a frame. So you okay. have that yellow feeling. And it's like a frame, like a picture. How big is that feeling? Um, probably like this. Mm -hmm. so you holding a frame with both of your hands. Bring it closer to your face right now, Louise. And I want you to just give me more adjectives, texture-wise. Is it heavy, light? When you touch the surface, what does it feel like? Does it have a smell or sound? Give me more information about this yellow feeling. Okay. It feels like um, an old wooden frame. Mm -hmm. And the pictures are, uh, the uh, colors are like Rembrandt. Okay. You know, the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, so do you see the actual, let, let's move it away so you can yeah. get a little perspective, move it away from your face. And when you move the picture away from your face, tell me if the picture is becoming clear. What does this energy represent in your life? First impression. Um, a, a picture I've had for many years, mm -hmm. so it's an attachment to my old family life, shall we say. Okay, very good. But yet there is some sort of discomfort here, right? There is, uh, yeah. Okay. okay, so you can relax your hands right now. And what I want you to do, I want you to through the... Uh, I'm going to touch your forehead, yeah. through your mind. Project that image in front of you. Imagine there is like a wall or screen, okay? So yes. this image is like somewhere in front of you. And we're going to modulate that feeling. So um, while you're focusing on this feeling in the in, on the left side of your abdomen, I want you to start changing that picture. So you can stretch it, you can uh, you can shrink it, rapidly saturate, desaturate, add sound effects, have fun with it, and start modulating this image to your preference. Maybe it reminds you of what, like a fun game that you like to play as a child. Yeah. Uh, and you just go with it and. I want you to enjoy and have a ball and be spontaneous, basically. Okay. Remember, you mentioned earlier how like you had so many ideas and with your business, and you just you were so motivated. It was you just followed your positive impulse. Yep. That's what I want you to do with this image, just like that. Unleash your imagination. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, notice what happens with this feeling. Yeah, this feeling's gone, basically. Gone. Very yeah. good. So now we are finished with this feeling, right? Yeah. Very good. Grab that picture in front of you because now it's neutral, right? Yeah. Shrink it to a postage stamp size. Now imagine you are standing on a 
uh, top of the heel. There is a little breeze. I want you to take a nice deep breath. Throw that image behind you. Okay. So whenever you're ready, there you yeah. go. Take both of your hands. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Throw it behind you, right? Yeah. Nail to the horizon. Yeah. Never coming back. Now relax into your body. Yeah. You can't recall this feeling, can you? No. It's gone, huh? Yeah. Let's put something wonderful instead. Okay. What would you like to feel here instead of that previous feeling? Maybe confidence? Um, confidence. Um, um, positive outcomes. Um, a go for it attitude. Uh, searching for opportunities. Or and for opportunities. For, for coming for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Searching for you. Okay, very good. So we're gonna do another really fantastic ex exercise okay. together. I would like for you, Louise, now to fly on the wings of time to a time in your life when you learned, when you realized that you know how to do something really fast and really well. So yes. it could be something simple. Simple doesn't mean easy. Yes. For some people, it's sports. For somebody, maybe swimming, maybe yeah. riding or cooking. But you have that exhilarating feeling. Some, it happens in childhood often, right? When, when yes. we realize, like, oh my God, I know how to do this. Other kids in a classroom are not as good at it. Yeah. But I, for me, it's like magnetic. I get it. It's natural. What is it for you? Um, my first job when okay. I was in high school. Uh, packing Christie cookies. Okay. Yeah, getting How? up at five in the morning, catching mm -hmm. the streetcar by myself, mm -hmm. and getting uh, to Christie's over, um, it was over a bridge from the railway tracks, down by the lake shore, walking into Christie's, I smelled the wonderful cookies, it was those mallows, and I loved working. Oh my and God. I love the people and I And you were 13, with. and you said that you were... I lied about my age. I was yeah. supposed to be 14, 14 at that time. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and, you, and you said you took like a streetcar to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And how, how, how uh, long was the distance between uh, your home and, and the store? It was about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. minutes. Okay. So I want you to slow down this movie. Okay. And now we are watching that movie, um, slow motion because a lot of good things happen. You're excited yeah. to get out of bed, right? Yeah. Like before yeah. you even get there, the positive anticipation yeah. was like natural high, wasn't yes. it? Yeah. And so you're getting ready, you're so excited, you wanna pack the cookies and you're interacting yeah. with clients. You know that you're super independent, yes. right? You know how to make money. Yeah. You know how to convince people that you're really good, even though you are underage, like everything was just slick. Yeah. Like even kill, like that yeah. sailboat just going, you yeah. know, into the horizon, and it's streamlined. Yeah, okay. And lots of compliments from my supervisors. Amazing. That I was fast, efficient, pleasant. It was Perfect. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. So now let's stop at that scene, slow down, and that scene. Yes. Your supervisor. What was his name? I don't recall. It was a lady. Okay, lady. She. So we're zeroing in to that moment. You're receiving a lot of compliments, a lot of acknowledgement for the wonderful work that you're doing. You're enthusiastic, you're engaging, you're pleasant. Um, Very fast. Fast, exactly. So she is sending that appreciation towards you. Where do you feel it the strongest now, um, Louise? Point to where you feel it. In here. Okay, in both places, right? Okay, wonderful. What colors are, are color or colors are connected to this feeling? First impression. Um, sort of pinks. Pink? And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Pink magentas, pinks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna add the, the pinks to the green that you experienced before. Yeah. So I would like for you to float the pink color, the shades of pink, yeah. above your head, and with every breath you take, and every beat of your heart, just make that pink energy grow and expand, just like a cloud, just like a balloon. Fill up this entire earth with this energy. Yeah, it's a powerful it's a pow uh, color, mm -hmm. and I feel it surrounding me, Beautiful. cocooning me. Maybe you even can smell the cookies from the store. I absolutely can smell them. Oh my gosh, what kind of... <laughs>
They were, oh, yeah, come on, they were those be... chocolate covered marshmallows with raspberries inside that you can wow. still buy. Wow, amazing. So now, taste those cookies right now, you know? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And and you can have that feeling over and over again. Would you like that? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so we're going to anchor it. So you have that feeling, that pink energy surrounding you. The supervisor is showering you with compliments. Yeah. You have such level of self-confidence. Yeah. Damn, like, you can move mountains. Like that, yeah. You're invincible, right? Nothing yes. is off limits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So now with, with that feeling, and now you have a color pink connected to it, you have the smell of the cookies with raspberries, yeah. interesting raspberries are pink too, right? Yes. Let's float that pink color through the body and enjoy this feeling, energizing you, healing you, replacing all the other feelings that you've been challenged with for a while and let go of all the energies connected to your husband and to your daughter that are not aligned with this raspberry, pinky, confident, exhilarated emotion of empowerment, of love, self-love. So let that pink color wash away those other sensations. And you hold your family dearly in that raspberry, pinky, marshmallowy cloud. And give them the cookies. Give them the cookies. They're coming to your store right now. Your daughter, your mother, your husband. And you are that girl, maybe an adult body, doesn't matter. You recognize each other. Feed them cookies, eat the cookies with them, and notice what happens when you do that. Yeah. And everybody's happy and together. Wonderful. Would you like to anchor that feeling? Yeah. Very I'm good. good. Perfect. On this end. So every time you want to feel that feeling of confidence, yep. exhilaration, um, very easy, easily accessible state of uh, motivation, um, just like that 13 year old girl looking forward to next day, being witty, being adventuresome, being innovative. You just press that part of your hand in the middle, you know, between the thumb and index finger. You smell the marshmallow cookies with raspberries. You take a nice deep breath. You see yourself eating those cookies with your family. And the feeling is there. Now let's test it. Try to turn it off. Try to take it away. Notice what happens instead. It's staying with me. Staying with you. Wonderful. You've done an amazing job. I'm gonna bring you back in a moment. And every moment of every day is becoming more and more like those marshmallow raspberry cookies for you. So every time Take a breath every time your heart beats, you're reminded of this pinky energy of you getting up, uh, taking a, a cart to go to the store, and that energy grows naturally. So, if you want to perhaps have something in your room or always with you that symbolizes it, maybe a kitchen, you're looking at raspberry image. Mm -hmm around you. It's just going to stand out, right? This pinky, raspberry, marshmallowy, and every time that happens, that feeling gets stronger and stronger for you. So in your own time, I want you to accept and allow yourself to fully merge with that possibility that you are this strong, independent, powerful, resourceful being. You eat raspberries, the instructions, the reinforcement, the motivation gets stronger, the joy gets stronger. It's less about efforting, it's being like that girl, it's being eager. Three, take a nice deep breath, relax into this new found or re-energized confidence. 
two, fairly connected to this present day reality, feeling comfortable, feeling very stable, feeling very present. And one bringing all of those elements to your conscious awareness, you can open your eyes, notice how you feel. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Wonderful. That was really a journey. I'm so glad. You're, you're amazing. Thank you <laughs> Thank so much. Thank you so much.